start a positive term care from the MacBook terminal. It's simple and easy. Whenever you download the positive term care and whether you have it in a desktop or some folder, just go inside the folder and you can see the positive term care. Go inside the positive term care. Then inside a positive term care, you're going to see a bin folder. So at first, let's um, give the path of the bin folder to the terminal and open the bin folder. So right now I have the terminal and um, I have given the path of bin. So go inside the bin folder. You're going to see a lot of uh, SS file and the bat file over here and just list it. See all those files you see, it, those are the files inside the bin folder. Okay. And to open. Uh, to start the Tomcat, we need to start the startup.sh and to start down, we need to use the shutdown.sh. But uh, usually in MacBook, those who are new and they haven't given the permission to open the SS file, the permission going to get denied. Since I have already given the permission, I cannot show you how it's going to get denied, but I'm going to show you how we can um, give the permission to open the SS file. So right now, I'm going to show you ls. That's the list of all and show me all the ss file ss file these are the all the ss file i have inside the bin folder and you see the x over here those means those are executed well and uh, if you don't have those x don't get worried uh, i'm going to show you how you can get those executable and to make that x and to open it uh, we have to write the cmod chmod cmod is a command in a Mac which allows you to give permission to open those files that's denied. So just remember the uh, as a CMOD file, CMOD command that's very useful. CMOD X and that means executable. Let's make the SS file executable. That's what it means. Now the all the SS file that I have and without the X in your command that's gonna be executable. So after that you can run it again ls file then you're gonna see it all those x inside uh, it if you don't see that just try the same more code there you might have tried something wrong that's why it happened okay once you do that now we have to uh, start the tomcat we're gonna run the ss file so just go inside the list ls and you can start the tomcat right now my tomcat is not working so i'll show you okay localhost 8080 uh, i cannot go inside the localhost so let's go over here and slash str to start update ss now that means i really can open i can start my uh tomcat so say you see the thing over here tomcat started this you need to remember one thing to start a tomcat you need to have a jdk install in your macbook if you don't have your jdk installed in your macbook the tomcat won't get started uh, so make sure you have that one if not you'll get an error so uh, once done that see my tomcat automatically started it's localhost 8080 i can uh, browse anything over here and you if you are seeing this we have successfully installed the tomcat congratulations so tomcat is started now we need to know how to start the tomcat too so it's simple you see the shutdown.ss file you just have to execute those part shutdown.sh now the tomcat is stopped if you want to check it you can check it see my shutdown my tomcat is stopped and i like to give you a simple trick like uh, usually in your computer like you don't want your uh, server to start every time you want to start it whenever you want so there's a mysql server tomcat server you, uh, you can start to stop anytime tomcat i show you how we can do it from the terminal but for mysql uh, server it's really easy go to the apple and system preferences inside a super system preferences you're going to see the mysql just click the mysql now from here you can start to stop your mysql server very easily this is started it's going to get start and stop it stop and you can initialize your database too and uninstall from here too and if you want a configuration something you can do it from here too okay that's it that's how i show you how we can start the tomcat from the terminal and it's really easy but make sure you know how to um give command for ss file because like if you make mistake on the cmod like command to execute the ss file it won't get started thank you so much please subscribe me okay